Hey guys, I'm here with my assistant Benson, sniffing the door for some reason. Um, so I am restarting my check-in mini-series. So I've done this in the past where I've just blogged or vlogged about my experiences with training nutrition and um, transformation. Um, I'm sorry, I gotta fix it up. Um, so I thought what better way to keep myself accountable and to kind of give you guys insight about what I do for my training and nutrition. It's gonna be different than the way I coach because my coaching is very methodical and my own training and nutrition is more intuitive because I've just been doing it for so long and I listen to my body when I train and when I diet. So I was hoping it would give you guys a little bit more insight and hold me accountable and hopefully I can give you guys some tips on how to make your training and uh, dieting a little bit easier uh, with things I've picked up and learned over the years and it'll allow you the opportunity to, to kind of let go of the reins a little bit on your um, dieting and your training and so you won't have to be so analytical. I know a lot of women follow me and um, a lot of my athletes are women and we tend to get really caught up in the details about our nutrition and training. I know for myself it led me to have a binge eating disorder many many years ago. I don't have any type of eating disorders anymore thankfully but I know back in the day I was so technical with everything that I would almost get anxiety over not tracking like my lettuce or not following my program to the T like exactly how it's written. So hopefully this is a way to kind of for you guys to kind of get to know the way I do things. So I'm going to try to keep all these videos super short. Hi, I have all my assistants here. I'm going to try to make these vlogs short enough so that I don't bore you guys to death um, but basically I took uh, I did a DEXA scan a few weeks ago I was 165 pounds about 30 percent body fat and now I am closer to 156 pounds I'm going to take a de another DEXA scan on Friday so that's going to be the way I'm tracking my progress I do keep track of my weight but I don't use it as a as a way of measuring my progress because I don't really get caught up on how much I weigh um, I'm more looking for uh, how do I look and how do my clothes fit and how many puppy kisses I can get hi hi you want to be in my video you want to be in my video oh look at you jealous jealous boys oh hi Bernard <laughs> so cute um, so that's basically the way I'm gonna be tracking my progress so I'm gonna train about three days a week uh, with structured um, weight training and then my cardio is gonna be based off my Fitbit how many steps I get a day gonna try to keep it around 10,000 my calories I'm not being super picky about because I can lose weight on as much as like 2,000 calories or as little as 1,500. This is what I mean by intuitive. I can tell what my body is doing on any given day. I can tell if I've overeaten. I can tell if I've undereaten um, based on my energy levels, how I feel, how I'm recovering. So this is all for me very intuitive. And um, I know at the end of the day when I should stop eating. Um, I, I can kind of tell if my, um, just by eyeballing how many grams of protein I've had a day. So um, I don't pay too much attention to my total calories or my average calories. I go based on how I feel. And I've been pretty successful with that. I still measure my portions sometimes just to make sure that I'm getting in like I said, enough protein, or I might measure, if I'm taking a scoop of protein, sometimes I measure it because um, different um, brands of protein have different scoopers. So sometimes you need a rounded scoop, sometimes you can do a flat scoop for the serving. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into too much detail there. Um, but basically what I wanna do is to be able to combine my vlogging with my coaching, 
um, give you guys some tips on how to do things, why I do things the way I do, and hopefully people can take something away out of it. I know I'm going to take away a lot out of vlogging. It's going to keep me accountable with my training and with my nutrition. And so when I do my DEXA on Friday, I will update you guys on the results of that. I'm hoping that the 12 pounds or so that I've lost won't affect my muscle mass too much. I'm sure I've lost some muscle. I'm hoping I've lost some fat as well and that it's not all muscle. Um, and then once I start training again, I'm going to keep you guys updated on things like where my strength is at, what type of exercises I'm doing, uh, what kind of cardio I'm doing, uh, what volume, what intensity, all that stuff. I'm not going to get too detailed. I'm just going to give you like an overview of everything. And I'm hoping that you guys can also vlog with me. I love seeing uh, people's lifestyle vlogs and, and, and diet and training vlogs and seeing how you feel from week to week as you're doing, um, as you're participating in the challenge. So, and I'll be posting my um, progress pictures. So front and side, usually I do with my body weight um, on my Instagram page, Mel's Moves. Um, so you guys can follow that if you guys wanna see pictures. Um, and as we go, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stay as consistent as possible with the with the taking pictures and having this vlog, and then um, I'm also going to hopefully do about one video a week here. I'm also I've just discovered that I can go live on YouTube. I've never done it. I'm not sure how it works, but instead of going live in my private Facebook page, which I've been doing in the past, I'm going to try to do more public lives and lives for my subscribers. You guys, I have 500 subscribers. I don't know how, um, but if you want to follow me, subscribe to my channel and um, I'll be posting more regularly. I'm also going to post more reviews on um, equipment for powerlifting, specifically um, shoes um and everything in between because i know you guys really like that and i have very strong opinions if you are my client you know i have strong opinions about what equipment to use uh, for powerlifting specifically so comment down below to let me know what you want to see and i will try to do that for you guys um and i'm hoping that you guys can vlog for me too so i can watch you i love watching vlogs like i love it so um so yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.